See, this is why you have to tell companies your honest thoughts and your honest feedback because being a content creator, being somebody who reviews products or you purchase the product as a consumer, you have to give your honest thoughts and opinions. And regardless if the opinions are bad, good, um, maybe they need to make some changes to an existing product or hopefully in the future they make changes to a newer product. When a company receives that feedback, one or two things are gonna happen. Either they're going to not listen to you and blacklist you as a content creator because you didn't give a glowing review on their product and that's all they're looking for they're not looking to actually improve on the product or you get companies like fine fine who constantly listens to their consumer base they constantly listen to people who review their products and stuff and they try to make some kind of innovation or improve on existing or their future products and that's what they did here with today's video they sent out before the a6t which was the very first microphone that i've ever had from them and the very first product review that i did that was from a actual company sending out a product and I gave a lot of criticisms on the microphone it sounds good the price point was good it just had some drawbacks the fact that you couldn't address the RGB the fact that there was no headphone port or anything like that to listen to the actual volume of the microphone itself and on top of that there was no indication really on the dial it was really hard to make out at the bottom where your microphone level was and on top of that you know it did feel a bit cheap but again the microphone sounds good I'll leave the review that I had uh, done of this microphone in the description if you are interested in that but fine fine listen like I said and now we have the AM6 this microphone has all the I would say improvements that I wish that was on the A6T is now on the microphone at the bottom of the microphone we have a headphone jack we have addressable RGB we have some noise gate or suppression little button or whatever we'll get that in a second it's not the best and you'll see why but it's a nice try i guess in innovation up here we have a knob that allows you to separate your voice and game so you can get the right amount of each or wherever depending on what you want to hear and then on the sides of the actual microphone itself we have the gain knob for the microphone and headphone uh, volume knob now to mute the microphone obviously you have the capacitive mute on the on the top you probably couldn't really really see it but underneath the grill right here there is a status light indicator that will go uh, red when it's muted and green when it's not muted. So while the Fine Fine AM6 goes through its RGB cycle, I do want to let you guys know that the audio comparison that I normally do in these videos is not going to be found here. It will be found in a video linked in the description that's going to be an unlisted YouTube video, meaning that nobody can watch it unless they click that link. And that's going to let you know the audio quality versus all the other microphones that I have in my possession. They're all going to be raw audio not edited audio anything like that again so you can make an informed decision on your purchases um, so you know if you want this microphone or you want the am8 or another microphone that i own so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the audio sound test of the am6 so what you're hearing now is the raw audio of the fine fine am6 again no eqs or anything being done the knob on the microphone is roughly a between 25 to 30 percent i would say uh, gain on the knob on the side of the microphone and this is what it sounds like I have a fan going on in the background pointed directly at me and the microphone to simulate, you know, maybe you have a fan in the room or your PC noise or just random ambient noise in within your actual office or your studio, wherever it is you may be. And this is what it's going to sound like. Here's that noise floor. Now. I'm going to go ahead and warn you if you're wearing headphones, I'm going to turn on the noise suppression that is on the microphone itself. So just be warned. Now, there is a button on the bottom that you will have to click if there's a blue indicator light on the bottom of the microphone that will let you know that you have turned it on. But this is the way it sounds. Again, no EQs or anything done. This is just the microphone itself. And you can see why I said just not using it. I'll give my thoughts about this at the end of the video when I talk about my overall thoughts of the microphone itself. Okay, so now you're hearing the actual Fine Fine AM6 with just the Elgato background noise removal that you can use in Wavelink. This is still the same background noise removal that you can use from NVIDIA Broadcast if you have an NVIDIA GPU. Um, I will leave the NVIDIA Broadcast down in the description so if anybody has that GPU, they can download the program and use it with this microphone or maybe a microphone they already have to remove you know, fan noise, all that stuff uh, in the background or wherever and get the audio sounding good. But 
but that's the only thing that's applied. I would suggest this over what comes on the microphone. All right, so now what you're hearing is the Fine Fine AM6 with a little bit more EQs added. Um, the only thing that I added to it was not only the background removal from, you know, Elgato, which is again, the same thing as the NVIDIA broadcast, but we also have a de -er on it, which gets rid of the harshness of the S's and T's as you talk. Um, and on top of that, you uh, have a actual EQ curve, I would say, or whatever. It's nothing too, too much. It just makes my voice a little bit more clearer and brings, I would say, a little bit more presence and muddiness. That's just the tone that I like. And this is what I roughly found that I like uh, with the sound of the microphone and everything. Um, as far as noise gates go, um, if you're going to put a noise gate on your uh, microphone or you're going to use the one that comes within Discord or wherever to maybe, you know, remove the background noise and stuff and not use the actual button at the bottom, then I would suggest to make sure that you listen to your microphone and make sure that you adjust the actual gain on the microphone itself and not through Discord or anything to make sure that you're not cutting yourself off with noise gate because that can happen um, if you have the gain set too low and you're trying to remove the ambient noise within your room. So again, keep that in mind when you're adjusting your microphone levels, especially in Discord, because sometimes it could be a little finicky to get your microphone sounding right with noise gates within Discord. The leaps and bounds they made between these two microphones. I think it sounds better personally. And on top of that, the feature set on here, having this game and chat knob or wherever you can tell when the microphone is 50 percent of each volumes or wherever half and half because it you know there's a nice little notch when you get the volume in the middle and then turning it either other way um to game or chat is going to be a smooth uh kind of resistant uh i would say turn but it's not like a free knob or whatever or too hard to turn or wherever it's going to be a smooth transition so you're you can get the precise volume of you what you want as far as game or chat the knobs on the side are the same. Uh, just the overall build quality and I say feel of turning things and doing things, it's gonna be miles above the A6T in my personal opinion. $65 though, I would have liked to seen this around the same price as this and the A6T is going to be around $56. Um, so between 50 and $60 is what I would pay for this microphone. 65 is a bit steep, I would say uh for this microphone just to use it for gaming and discord but you know that might not be a deal breaker for you as well um in my personal opinion fine fine always does sales whether it be on amazon or their website so check out and see if there's sales on it but at the time of recording this is literally brand new and um so they're gonna be full priced but with that being said the only caveat and the only con besides the price is going to be that noise suppression at the bottom. I would suggest just like I said before, using Discord to, you know, make this changes or wherever you need to remove background or put in a noise gate on it. Or if you're talking in a game chat or something like that, getting NVIDIA broadcast if you have a video GPU and moving the slider on that. If you want to know what I think they could do, um, because I gave my thoughts on the A60 for improvements, I'm gonna say for that, let it cook a little bit more in the oven and come out with the ability when you hit the button, having three indicator lights at the bottom, I would say more towards the bottom of this indicator light for the mute, where you can see clearly it's muting and stuff. Have it a selection of high, uh, mid and low, and let me click through that on the bottom because the noise suppression is just too aggressive. I'm glad it's actually noise suppression and not a noise gate, but it's just too harsh and not having the ability to adjust it is a problem. Just let it cook a little bit more in the oven as far as before uh, mass I would say producing it on microphones themselves. RGB cycling or wherever, having the two-tone static colors, having the solid colors being uh, static as well, and having the colors, you know, shift between the two-tone into the other two tones or having the static colors shift into the other static colors is really, really nice. That's something that I asked for on the A6T and it's nice to see the upgrade here or wherever. That's why I think it is worth it. But overall, you can see at the top of the capsule right here, even on camera, you can see the LEDs up top. If you position your mic a certain way, you're gonna see it in person. And if you look down into the capsule, you're gonna see the LEDs at the bottom. That's because the diffusion layer on the capsule is not that thick to allow more light to come out and escape to make the RGB a little bit more brighter. Um, so that might be a deal breaker for some people. I think personally, it would be silly for that to be the deal breaker, but you know, I want to make you guys aware of it. So when you purchase it, you're not like, Hey, I wasn't told this again, informed decisions. 
Um, at the bottom, you're going to see the hot spots of the actual RGB because the diffusion layer is not as thick as it needs to be and it's just marginally needs to be a little bit hair a hair thicker the problem is is that the spacing of the leds are too spaced out you can kind of see the hot spots on the microphone itself again 65 dollars. i don't expect it to be you know wow amazing or wherever i expect something like this to happen but that might be a deal breaker for some people like i said i think it's silly but in order for the fine fine to tighten that up again have the leds spaced a little bit more together and have that diffusion layer just cranked up just a little bit like doesn't need to be aggressive just just a little bit more diffusion again it could be just be my model i'm not sure but i want to make you guys again aware of it so you know when you purchase them you can see like hey this is going to be something that's possibly on my microphone but overall i'm glad to see the improvements from the a6t uh it just shows that fine fine listens and they listen to their consumer base they listen to you know people who do reviews and stuff like that they go back to the drawing board they make improvements on existing models or new models that are coming out and fine fine just keeps killing it um, if you're interested in this microphone or any other microphone that i have done a review on um, you can find the purchase link down in the description and you can find my other reviews and the product review playlist at the end of the video and again if you're looking for the audio comparison test between all the microphones you can find that unlisted youtube video down in the description if you're new to the channel and you did like the video hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you want to see unboxings of products or my thoughts or you know just talk about anything like that and you want to watch it in a live format you can click the link in the description to my live stream over on kit.com forward slash squid at joe and i'll see you guys in the next video y'all take care have a squid task day god bless you and yours and fine fine killed it again with another microphone i don't know what's next for them but uh i'm actually looking forward to it see y'all later deuces everybody